This is great for anyone that's in Europe having a tough time finding cool stuff like this. And this label is just so cool, man. Welcome to Price Plow. What's happening, Price Plow Nation? And members of the Chaos Crew, that's right. Today we're gonna talk about Europe's most hardcore supplement brand, the Chaos Crew, and that means we're gonna bring the chaos. So yes, bring the chaos is an extreme pre-workout formula that's got some of those exotic ingredients we like to talk about here that we sometimes have access to in the States, but the Europeans don't always have access to them until now because the Chaos Crew is bringing over some of our favorites over to Europe. It's for sale, I think, in Australia as well and everything else. So, as you can see, I got my Chaos Collection here. I've been running this and I have a review. This is basically a hardcore pre-workout done exactly the way I like it. And I got so hooked on the sour gummy flavor, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna keep working with this. You follow us on Instagram, you can follow PriceFlow on Instagram. By the way, I didn't even introduce myself, how rude. My name is Mike Roberto, I'm the founder of PriceFlow, which is a tech and media company that brings you supplement news, reviews, interviews, deals, diet research, and all sorts of fun stuff. And this is the fun stuff we're talking about. I mean, look at this label, dude. That's, you, you don't get much more fun than that. So anyway, bring the chaos. They're, they're bringing in a lot of the stimulants that we like to have in the States. And I got hooked on this sour gummy flavor. And on Instagram, yeah, I was posting shots of doing this. I admittedly, some of the, uh, a couple of the times I reviewed it or you know, was using it for this review, I did mix it with a pre-workout pump supplement. But right now I'm gonna mo more focus on the, uh, the euphoric, the mood, the uh, energy effects and explain what's going on for you Europeans out there who aren't used to some of these ingredients here because it's, it's, it's a good ride but not too wild, not too chaotic actually, and kind of just right perfectly smooth the way they, they mixed it. I'll, I'll get into that. Uh, so the Chaos Crew actually right now is early February of 2019. We do have a promoted contest with the Chaos Crew for winning a free tub of this actually. So get on that right now. We'll try to get this video posted as soon as possible. Uh, but what they're doing is that it's, it's run by a, uh, the store is called Shapeshifter Nutrition. I believe that might be kind of the, the, the parent company of everything. And that's a store in the UK. They've actually given us a, a price plow coupon code for free shipping. And what's awesome about this contest is that they are willing to ship internationally everywhere. A lot of our contests are US only, this one's not. So get over there right now before it's too late. If it's uh, mid-February later, 2019, then sorry, you're, brought, you're a little bit too late, but we still have the free shipping coupon. So yeah, this was sent for free, as were these two, and uh, we do have a, a semi-business relationship with that you know, promoted contest and everything. So anyway, bring the chaos. I started running this and I was like, dang, this is, this is a hardcore pre-workout done the way I like it to be done. The label's cool, the sour gummy flavor's awesome. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna save the blueberry lemonade flavor for a live tasting. So let's just do that right now so I can get even a little bit more energy into me. And here's what's funny, looking at this label, we'll shoot some B-roll and all that. Um, I, here's what I like. A lot of times they say start with a half a scoop and then work your way up to a full scoop, which they do here. They say mix one scoop in 800 milliliters of water. Now for all y'all Yankees who are listening with, in the US with me, 800 milliliters of water is nearly a liter. If you don't know what that is, that's a lot of water. I mean, we're talking about my, in my battle shaker here. Thankfully I have both metric and imperial units here. 800 milliliters is twice this amount here. They're recommending for a full scoop, which a full scoop provides 250 milligrams of caffeine. That's where we're gonna go with this. Uh, that's a lot of water. And so I'm gonna do two halfy half scoops we're gonna have to do a scoop way out of my scale here, make sure we're not overdosing ourselves here. Uh, but when they say use half a scoop, that's 400 milliliters of water. So this is one of the more water heavy recommendations I've ever seen out of a pre-workout. Not a big deal, I actually I like that because I like to drink a lot of water, but uh, I actually, I don't think I've ever used that much water when I was kind of messing around with this stuff, even when I was adding in another product. So this is like a lot of water. Anyway, let's move over to do a scoop way out. We'll do, we'll weigh out what a full scoop weighs. And then I'm gonna get uh, in the missile, we're gonna do our sour gummy. And then in my bomb cup right here, we're going to do the blueberry lemonade. And then we'll compare the flavors and we'll get into the profile. I'll geek out a little bit and y'all can drop out and go get in that contest right now. And uh, that's the story for here. So the other thing I wanna say, this is 25 servings, 25 full servings. We look at you know these doses here and this tub is, 
it's not as much anymore, but this tub comes in heavy. Like it's a, it's just like a compact, this thing's filled to the brim. I love it when they do that. A lot of supplements have this much powder and they're in like tubs twice as big. Not when you're shipping internationally. They gotta, they compact this thing down. Anyway, let's do a scoop way out. Make sure that we have our recommended 15.1 grams and then we're gonna go down to like 7.55 grams or whatever per scoop and do the halves with the 400 milliliters of water. This is a 14.8 cc scooper. Can't get much more precise than that. We're looking for a 15.1 grams. And we'll level it off here. And we're coming in light, very light. So I don't really have a huge problem with that because, well, you know, it is very light. There, there's no, no way around it. Let me try to pack one really heavy, really tight. Better too light than too Better too light than too heavy. Even then, I'm pushing that stuff in as hard as I can. 12 point over, still way under. So I think uh, this 14.8 cc scooper is not gonna be enough. And they don't say heaping scoop or anything. So what we're gonna do is now mix over uh, in our 400 milliliters of water with each one. We're gonna do the uh, yeah the 7.5 or so grams. And, uh, and there you go. You know what, just for S's and G's, let's try this scoop with the blueberry lemonade that I just opened up. Same deal. This one should be 15.1 grams. All right, they need a bigger scooper and you need a food scale. All right, we're back. So as we saw, this was definitely too small of a scooper and that's, uh, it's better too small than too big, but being three out of 15 grams short is 20% off. So we got a dock a point. Now the truth be told, when I'm pouring these solvents, I'm just dumping stuff in with my finger into a food scale and then I have my other concoctions. So I, I didn't notice, shouldn't have known that coming in. Uh, I will have to do better, but either way, that's why we do the weigh-ins right here to discover such things. So as I said, in my uh, missile, we have the sour gummy flavor that I've really been digging and then the blueberry lemonade in the bomb. We can show some B-roll footage with this too. Probably Europeans. We're not that much into weaponry, just when it's in a shaker cup. No colors, no nasties, no need. Bottoms up to the sour gummy bear. Mm. That smell. Ooh, okay. I had definitely not been adding enough water. You know, that's a, that's a smooth, sweet drink. No bitter afternotes, no bitter stim taste, no nothing. It is definitely stronger. Obviously, it's stronger when you have less water like I've been using. I kind of like it with, I think I'd like it with a little bit less. So, for, uh, so we're, yeah, thankfully I have both of these. And we're talking about nearly, like, we're talking about 13 ounces of water for half a scoop. So 26 ounces of water. I couldn't even fit in this whole shaker a full scoop's worth of recommendation on the water. But at the same time, I think it's, it, it waters down a little bit too much there. I think about, you know, like eight to 10, 10 ounces or so per scoop would probably be the best place to land. So this is really a, a good, enjoyable sour gummy. I think I was drinking it too tart with too much and I think this is too weak. So right in the middle would be perfect. What I like is the smell is just, it excites me to drink it because it's really a sweet smell, no weirdness or anything like that. All right, now moment of truth, you get to see my initial blueberry lemonade flavor. And I might add a dash more powder, just strengthen up the, the drink a little bit because I'm thinking this is not gonna be strong enough. Got the lemonade. Oh, wow. That's how, that's, I wouldn't add any more powder. Go with the recommendation. Water this bad boy down. As someone, this tastes like real lemonade. And then, I don't know what the blue is. The blue, I dare I say, a, like a, it almost tastes like a wild grape been added to it or something like that. I don't think that's what it is, but that's what I'm catching real quick. Man, I came in loving the sour gummy. This is a unique blue lemonade flavor. At the end of the day though, I gotta, I gotta go back to the sour gummy though. That was a bad swallow. Brad has to edit that one out. Mm. All right. My, my take is for these two flavors, these are both fantastic flavors, especially given that 
We are covering up a lot of stimulants here. But if you're into something different, you don't want overly sweet and you like a lemonade, it's not a straight lemonade. There's a, it's, a, it's a bonus lemonade. Then I would, or if you like to water it down a lot, I think the blue lemonade is better watered down. The sour gummy would probably be better uh, stiffened up a little bit. So that's, that, that, yeah, that's impressive though. I'm not used to having a lemonade like that. Usually I get all mad and I'm not a citrus person. So yeah, for those of you who are, enjoy. So overall, I had some incredible workouts with this because the focus effect and the mood enhancement and the energy level was right on, like right on the level for me. And I, what I like about it is that it's a 250 milligram of caffeine pre-workout, which I mentioned. And that's what I like to have in my caffeine dose when I'm, when I'm training for the most, you know, for most of the time. There's been a couple other supplements I've taken recently with like 150 milligrams of caffeine, but they, uh, but in general, I like to train at between 225, 275. I'm not always going all in on the 300 milligrams of caffeine, especially when you have these other stims here. So first off, that's good. This is for the people who want the like, more reasonable 250 milligram dose of caffeine. I mean, it's almost to the point now where it's like 300 milligrams of caffeine is almost on the low end of things compared to some of these. And that's like getting kind of absurd at some point. We have to like kind of like look at maybe our diets are a little bit off if you need that much energy to, to get going. And if you have all these other stimulants, you might not need a ton of caffeine. And that's where we have. But on top of that, what I'm seeing with these like hardcore supplements, when they add in something to lessen the effects of the caffeine and the other stimulants, I like it a lot. I recently reviewed one that had ashwagandha in it. It was a fat burning drink. Not really, it could be used for a pre-workout, but it had ashwagandha added and I never had a crash. I never had like the up and down spike and drop and that smoothed it out. Similarly, on top of our 250 milligrams of caffeine here, we have 250 milligrams of L-theanine. The L-theanine caffeine combination is very synergistic and has a great nootropic effect, but L-theanine is a relaxing compound that comes from tea leaves and when combined with caffeine, there's a lot of good focus benefits. Uh, when taken alone for me, I don't like it because it has uh, too much of a chillaxing effect for me and I like my energy instead, but normally I always say that I like caffeine to be higher dosed than L-theanine. In this case, that's really not the case because there's so much extra stuff that we're talking about here that we're gonna be talking about here and the L-theanine dose really leveled it out for me. I never felt like over hopped up, even though there's an advanced form PA in here, there's a DMHA in here, so you know where we're going. So I, I really like the way that they did this, whether they do it with ashwagandha, which probably tastes a lot worse, or L-theanine, which is probably a little bit more expensive. I, I really like the, the combo here. So my review is extremely positive for those of you who don't want to go bonkers on caffeine. If you're in Europe or Australasia, then you can try this and you're going to get to feel a little bit of the chaos that we get a lot, a lot more often in the States. However, it's not full on chaos because it's not 400 milligrams of caffeine and it's not, uh, it's not like running untethered or ungrounded. The L-theanine kind of grounds things for me and that's why I like it. it's controlled chaos. And so they're bringing the chaos, chaos crew. Everyone else, check out the contest that we have. All right, folks, I'm back from the future. We decided to make this into two separate videos because I start talking about the ingredients a little bit too long and I'd rather have two medium-sized files than one long video to have you watching all day long. So if you want to see the ingredients, subscribe to the channel and we'll have that posted next. At the end of the day, for my review, this is extremely positive, except for the biggest drawback is that the scoop is too light. You know, that's not the end of the day. I do like the sour gummy flavor better, but what I learned here is that I really do enjoy, on occasion at least, the hardcore stimulants, but when they're not too much caffeine, and the caffeine is like, and it's all tempered down by something like L-theanine, that's a really enjoyable experience. And that's kind of where I landed with this is that these are high dose exotic stems, but medium to lowish at this point, lowish dose caffeine, and then a one-to-one -one ratio of caffeine and L-theanine really just level it all out. So I'm a big fan of this, uh, but if you're thinking that you need to have 500 milligrams of caffeine to get training, then this might not be your product. This is great for anyone that's in Europe having a tough time finding cool stuff like this. And this label is just so cool, man. I said it already. Um, having a tough time finding cool stuff like this, you know, and you're not stateside, 
I'd like to say thank you to the Chaos Crew. Thank you to Shapeshifter Nutrition. We do have a price lock coupon code over there where you can get free shipping and then they'll ship it, I don't know, anywhere in the world. I'm not really sure, but anywhere that's got an address that they'll ship to on their system, you can go for it. And this is a great hardcore pre-workout that doesn't have too much of a hardcore caffeine feel to it. And that's what I like about it. So my name is Mike Roberto. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel so you can see that ingredient explanation coming on next. Give us a like, comment, all that stuff. We love your engagement, love to watch, especially everyone over in Europe who doesn't get to have as much fun as we do. Now you do, and you get a really fun bottle of it too. And if this contest is still going on, get in there right now because they're shipping anywhere. Thanks again for watching. We'll see ya. Welcome to Price Plow.